Hey, it's Big T. Uh, a while back, I had invited a good friend and phenomenal tire, uh, Eric Climore, to do a few videos for the channel, and he is obliged. So I'm excited to be able to present some of his work. Uh, Eric is a very meticulous tire, pays great attention to detail. You can see some of his flies at smallbatchbugs.com. He is a commercial tire, so uh, custom orders and inventory uh, are available uh, for sale on his site. Again, it's smallbatchbugs.com. I will put a, a link up at the end of the video for you to write down if you need to. Uh, but Eric's got some unique patterns that he's developed and has uh, some techniques and tips that I think you'll enjoy seeing. So let's see what Eric has to put forward for us today. Thanks. All right. So I'm going to tie the, start off by tying the pink and pearl nymph, and I've tied this in a number of variations from the Pertagon, the nymph, the soft tackle, and they all have their place, but I keep coming back to the nymph version, and since tying the first version, I've also started playing with other colors, and the olive in particular has become my favorite. I'm going to start with the body is going to be Vivas Body Quill in pale pink and I'm using it on a bobbin just like you would thread. Um, so I'm going to start by adding a CDL tail and you can do medium, or medium pardo, light, dark, whatever. I don't get caught up in tail colors. And so I'm going to start by adding just a handful of fibers. I also don't typically count. Nothing's exact. So I'm going to take a quick layer of thread back, tying in the CDL. This is also on a wide gap hook with a 3.5 millimeter bead. I'm going to, at the very end, without taking my thread back up, because that's another important thing, just there is one layer of thread right now, and it's going to stay fairly slim. Um, so at the butt of the fly, I'm going to tie in some sulky pearl tinsel and make three to four wraps, just enough to add a little flash in the butt. Tie that off. And now I'm going to build a slight taper. And I'm also going to add a very slight valley right behind the bead because this is going to help when it comes to adding the thorax. It's going to give the thorax somewhere to sit and just kind of help lock it in. So for the thorax, I am using just a fox squirrel. You can use hare's ear. Anything, really. If you want more flash, ice dub, or one of the hybrids. But I've grown really fond of the squirrel for just basic thoraxes on most patterns. But I don't want a huge thorax. And as I was preparing, I neglected to get the resin. So this next step is the one thing I love so much about this pattern. I haven't wrapped the thorax up yet. And so before I wrap the thorax, I'm going to go ahead and coat the fly in resin. And I'm using Solar as Bone Dry. It's, I think I'm probably on my 20th bottle at this point. I've been using it for a couple years and It's by far my favorite, unless you're one of the poor souls that's allergic to it. So I've wrapped the, or coated the body in resin, and I've also added just a little bit of resin behind the thorax on the thread. It's basically going to act like head cement. So I'm going to wrap the thorax up, keeping it right behind the bead, and then 
just a whip finish and the resin is obviously still wet so just a quick three turn whip finish just a snug this body quill is really fragile so you'll snap it if you're not careful so now you've got the finished fly but the resin's all still soaking wet I'm going to wipe the resin away on the tail this, that's a pet peeve of mine that little build up of resin and then cure it and at this point the fly is coating resin from bead to tail and basically cured into one piece and I have fished this pattern in some form or another for quite a while and I have had very few come apart so that's the pink and pearl nymph and like I said you can play with any number of colors my personal favorite is dark olive um, been playing with light olive lately but there's black tan yellow orange and then of course you can use thread instead of the quill 